Hello, excited to be with you again from Unified Oski. A big shout out, congratulations, QA to all those who have you know, passed their Oski exams. We celebrate you. you know, that's what gives us joy just to pass your Oski exam. And for those that may probably you have to go back for one reset, or don't lose hope. Just calm down know that you can do it have a critical look at the corrections or any error made and make sure you don't repeat that well, i promise you we'll celebrate you soon and those still in the preparation process put in your best practice over and over again and congratulations to you in advance in this video we'll have a look at midstream urine sample analysis it is eight minutes allotted time and one advice as regards the scale is you can't read midstream urine analysis except it's something you do on a day-to-day -day basis but if not please pay the sacrifice try to get your hands on some multi-six reagent get urine sample put glucose in urine sample put albumin in different urine sample and practice with that over and over again that's the secret with midstream you can't read it it's not something you can just read you have to practice it and make sure you are ready before you go for your exam so let's get started yeah so we'll be starting with assuming all checks have been done so assuming all checks have been done safety check identity check comfort consent is gained i will ensure privacy is provided by pulling the curtain i'll go ahead to do my hand hygiene Put in an ample of gel, I palm to palm, palm to back of hand, vice versa, palm to palm, fingers interlace, fingers interlock, fingers interlock, rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the thumb, fingertips on palm, fingertips on palm, my wrist in rotational manner, my wrist in rotational manner, allow my hands to dry for 30 seconds. I will go ahead to get my instrument. Getting to getting my instruments, I'll put on my apron. Assessor, can I confirm my tray has been cleaned with soap and water the last 24 hours? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. I will still go ahead, put on my gloves, take um, my cleaner wipes. I've confirmed the zin date is in, not expired. I take my cleaner wipes with my gloved hand. I will clean my tray in S-shaped manner, clean the backside in S-shaped manner. Discard the gloves I've used for that. Discard the apron. Put a new apron. Now I'll do my hand hygiene again. Okay, I'll be getting my materials ready. I need a pair of gloves. We are advised to take extra pair of gloves just in case you may need to change your gloves. You know, you are dealing with urine sample. I need my universal specimen container. I have to validate. It has an E marking its in date is not expired it's a single use non-reusable and for some you don't have expiry date so it depends on what you see on the container but single use is intact is in date i'm happy to use it i have the multi six reagent it's in date the expiry date is 31 12 2028 i'm happy to use it it's stored in line with manufacturer's guideline in an airtight container and in a dark place away from any rays of light i need my tissue is ready i need a timer is ready so everything is ready i'll be going back to my hand my patient i do my hand hygiene again hello hi nurse yeah just to remind you my name is ademola I'm back, like I said earlier. You, you're happy to call you James, is that right? Yes. Are you comfortable? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Are you still happy for me to go ahead? Yes. Okay, like I told you, I'm here to carry out a midstream urine analysis on you. And this is just a test to find out if you have some abnormalities in the urine and it's not a definitive diagnosis. Okay, James, I'll need to explain what you need to do, okay? I need to go to the toilet, wash your hand with soap and water, Wash your down below with soap and water, make it clean. 
retract the foreskin, clean the surrounding with soap and water, pat dry. So I, I'll give you the specimen container. Please make sure you did not touch the inside of it. You did not contaminate it. We don't want it. We don't want to give you a false result. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Okay. We need a middle catch of your urine, the urine that is coming straight from your bladder, not contaminated from any surroundings of the down below. So you start to pass your midstream, your the stream of urine. When you get to the halfway, you introduce the specimen bottle two to three centimeter away from the private area. Then I just need half of urine full in the specimen container will be fine. Okay, then you just keep this aside, complete the stream of your flow, clean your down below, pat yourself dry, wash your hand with soap and water, and just give me a call. Here's the call bell, and I'll be right back to get the sample. And if you need any help to do that, I'll be right there to help you. Is that okay with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wonderful. So as soon as you finish explaining that, the urine sample will be waiting for you. One thing you need to be careful and mindful of in midstream urine analysis, never handle a urine sample specimen with your bare hand. So now I will go ahead to get the test done. I quickly do my hand hygiene. I'll put my glove. I will declare this as my clean hands. I don't want to remove gloves during the process. And I will make my non-dominant hand my dirty hand. So I will be able to use this clean hand for writing and to maneuver the multi-sticks reagent bottle. Now, as concerned the reagent bottle, we have some multi-sticks that we have 10 SG multi-sticks. And we have some eight SG multi-sticks. So the, the reagent I'm using is eight multi-sticks SG, but the specimen bottle I have with me, I have 10 SG specimen bottle. So in this one, I will not be looking out for bilirubin and urobilinogen. So if you have eight square parts on your reagent strip, know that even though, even if you have 10 square pads on the sample, on the multi-six bottle. Know that you won't check for bilirubin and urobilinogen if you have eight square pads on your reagent um, stick. So please just know that. So I'm ready now. This is my dirty hand. This is my clean hand. This is the urine span sample. I'm just going to, the outer part is okay. I've not contaminated it. I'll just open it. If you want to talk about the characteristics of urine, it's not compulsory, it's not part of the marking criteria. But if you want, you can talk about the color, odor, and if you have any deposit. Okay, so I'm waiting for the second timing to be on 12. It's almost there. So I'm going to take one, my reagent, I'll cover this immediately, not to expose it. So it's on 12. I dipped it in one second, making sure all the parts are covered. Tap it at an angle, and I put it just straight in front of me. My time starts now, as I saw. So I'm waiting for 30 seconds to check for glucose. So 30 seconds is over. My glucose is negative. I put negative on my chart. I'm waiting for another 10 seconds and 40 seconds is already over to check for ketones. The ketone is negative. I've written that. I'm waiting for another five seconds to make 45 seconds to check for the specific gravity. And that's over. My specific gravity is 1.05. So I'll quickly write that. So now I'm waiting for 15 seconds to make to complete one full minute and in one minute i'm checking for four parameters i'm checking for 
the blood pH, protein, and nitrites. Okay. So one minute is over. I'm checking for the blood. The blood is negative. I'll quickly write that. My pH is 6.0. I write that. I'm checking for protein. My protein is positive. I quickly write that. And the nitrite is negative. So I'm waiting for one minute to make two minutes to check for the leukocyte. And two minutes is passed. The leukocyte, I have trace. So I quickly write that. And that is all. As I saw, I will make sure all the items are cleaned and make ready for the next use. Can I discard the reagent pad or should I leave it? As I saw, I should leave it. Okay, I'm going to leave it. So the urine sample, I'm going to send it to the lab if there is need. But if there is no need, no indication, I will discard it into the clinical waste. I will discard the urine into the sluice and discard the specimen container in the clinical waste. I will make sure a new fresh urine sample is collected for sending to the lab and I'll make sure the necessary details are filled on the lab form before sending it to the lab. So I ensure everything I use is discarded, make clean and make ready for the next use. I remove my glove, goes into the clinical waste, my apron into the clinical waste. I do and hygiene. They're going back to James to relay the findings. Hello, James. Hi, James. I'm back. Yeah, I'm done with the urine test analysis. Or oh, um, every other result is fine, apart from the fact that you have a positive result for your protein. And what that means is that we can have such cases in some cases of hypertension, heart failure, some mild kidney impairment or some kidney impairment. But I want to assure you that this is not a definitive diagnosis. This will be escalated to your doctor. I will send a urine sample to the lab. So a detailed analysis from the lab will give us a definitive diagnosis. And you also have a trace of leukocyte as well. And this might be a sign of some form of urinary infection but it's not definitive like i said so i would just advise you to make sure you to try and drink two liters of water you know that will help you to flush your system and helps your kidney to function well as well might exercise will be fine and hygiene in cleaning the private part after the toilet use will be helpful as well do you have any question any concern for me Okay, here is the call bell. In case you need anything, just press the bell and I'll be right here or any of the team to attend to you. And I'll be leaving you for now. That's all I have for you. And I'll be back to relay the findings of the lab reports of urine analysis. Is that okay with you? Yes. And thank you for your time. I'll do my hand hygiene. And that will be all we have for you for your midstream urine analysis. Wishing you all the best.